Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. Today we're going to do a declutter of my stamping plates, which I'm sure you saw there are plenty of in the thumbnail. Now I've never really done a declutter. I don't know how long this one's gonna take. We have quite a lot to go through and I might have to split this up into maybe two videos. There's a lot of different shapes and sizes and things like that. Um, but what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna skip a lot of this backstory here and just get right into it. I'm going to make uh, a pile for definite keeps and definite get rid ofs. And what I'm gonna do with these at the end is let my friend look through them because she just recently got super into stamping. Let her take what she wants. And then um, from there I might just do like a D stash Instagram and sell them for pretty cheap. But basically anything that I'm keeping, I know I'm gonna use or at least has a few designs on the plate that I, I do want to try out before I pass along. And the no's are ones that there's nothing wrong with them. They're just not ones I can see myself using personally. And they don't spark my personal creativity and things like that. And um, I might let my little sister go through them too just to see if she's interested. But I'm not sure if she's into the nail stamping. So first off, let me just grab a few of these plates. We're going to start with these really big ones that I have. Um, they are not even going to fit in the frame. But, and I'm also going to do my best to, it, there's no way around this is going to reflect. Like, you're going to see my phone hanging up there and probably my face. But these are just some really big, like, I've never seen anything like this before, uh, stamping plates. I think that these have more like salon-esque designs like this is something I would see in a salon I'm not really into this so this is a definite no and then we have one more of that size and again just more salon probably from like the late 90s early 2000s era again not something I am incredibly interested in. The only design on this huge plate I even find slightly interesting is probably this one here, but I bet you in the billion plates I have, we can find something like that. So again, another no. Then we have some, here's another larger plate, not quite as large. Um, and this one has some just kind of all over the nail designs. Nothing that's really sparking my interest. So another no. Here's another kind of square designs, mostly full nail. We've got some probably illegal uh, IP down here. We got Hello Kitty, Snoopy, is that the Pink Panther? And then like Lisa from The Simpsons. But ultimately, nothing that is like super unique or interesting. So that's a no. Just more of those big nail designs. A lot of these are just like, they look a little bit distorted or not something I'm interested in. Could you imagine just stamping that on your nails? Carpe diem. Like, what the heck? I think, oh, this one's got Pooh Bear on it though. Uh, my friend might like that. Um, but yeah, not my jam. Okay, so this one... Up at the top, we've got like a lot of like really simple designs, nothing super interesting. But this right here is probably like this row. So the only reason I even find this plate somewhat interesting, like the rage faces. I, I can't, I don't know. I feel like I have to stamp these at least one time. So this one is a yes. Ugh, I can't believe I'm keeping that. That's disgusting. But I, I just want to. I think it'll be hilarious. Um, we've got a ton of flowers. That one is, it's nice, but I'm not a huge floral person. So that's a no. And I don't have any particular goals here as far as like getting rid of X amount. I just want to have what I'm going to use. So let's see. We've got a Christmas plate. Uh, I bought these from somebody else, so it looks like she used it and didn't clean it. But we got tons of Christmas designs uh, from 2013, apparently. 
I'm not a big like holiday themed nail person, so we'll get rid of that. Except for Halloween. I, I like to do Halloween nails. Here we've got yet another Christmas and well, it looks like this has a ton of holidays. So we got like Christmas and New Year's up here. And then as we move down, we've got some Halloween stuff. I have got quite a few Halloween plates that I know I want to keep. And I think I actually just ordered a Halloween plate. So we don't need this. Okay, this is a weird one. I feel like early stamping plates were really odd. They were just really all over the place. So we've got like the Beatles. We have the Statue of Liberty. Um, there's a cute little Minnie Mouse. We've got some like skull and crossbones, some pirate type stuff. Is that Marilyn Monroe? Uh, this is um, this is a weird one. We got Ghostbusters, the Playboy Bunny. Uh, yeah, this is, you know, as a no. <laughs> That's a no. Now we've got some of these like old English letters. Some abstract. Am I holding this upside down? Yeah, I, I uh, don't know which way the alphabet goes, apparently. Holding it upside down. So, yeah, we've just got some, like, I guess, like, tribal-looking stuff. Not my jam. Let's get rid of that. It's a little bit oxidized or discolored, it looks like. We've got Disney logo, Tinkerbell. Some of the, it looks like Zodiac symbols. Yeah, this one can go. So far, we've only kept one plate, but I kind of knew from these bigger ones, there wasn't really much I was going to want. Um, let's see, honestly, this one, I do like that really big spider web. Kind of like that. Again, I'm holding this upside down. I like the stars. Ooh, is that out of focus? I like the stars and I like these stripey guys. I feel like something like this because my nails are a little bit longer. This one might be good to keep for some of these bigger coverage designs. So I'll try this one out and see how that works. What do we have here? This is another one with like some of those bigger designs. But these designs aren't as appealing to me. So we're going to say no to that one. And then this next one, actually, I like this one too. I like some of these more geometric looking. I like this one. I think this would be fun. So I'm going to keep this one as well. I'll show you the bottom there. I don't care about these trees. Those are, see, that's what I mean. Like, why would you have all these huge full coverage designs and then just three random trees? I don't know, but we'll keep that one too. Let's go through one I know there's going to be stuff I want to keep. And it's going to be this huge bundle monster folio. This is where I have most of my bundle monster plates. Well, okay, they're not bundle monster anymore. It's maniology. But um, this one here, we've got... I've used this alien one a couple times. I really like this. And then we've got some of the geometric and star designs. I'm keeping this. I'm probably actually going to keep most of these bundle monster and maniology plates because these are really nice um let's see i said that and now i don't even want this one <laughs> um i think that it's cute but i know my friend will like this probably more than me because it's got more like disney-ish vibes i guess you could say so this is a no i'm gonna give that to my friend this one, I love the little faces and just like the cute foods. Keeping that. I bought this one. This is one of the first ones I bought from this brand. I love the like goofy little designs. I really like this one here. These little scribbles. I like it. It's got like a 90s vibe, I guess, for me. Keeping that. Let's see. This one is interesting. Hmm. I don't really know. What are these? They're animals? I can't see. Yeah, I can't see myself using that. I'm going to give that one away. This one, however, I really like the, like, 
celestial look with some of these animals. So I will keep that one. And then we have a few from the same set, I believe. So this is like dinosaurs. So we've got like a full scene. We have this one with like individual dinosaurs and singular nails, which I've used this one. And then we have this one with some of like the like flowers and stuff like that. I think this one goes with this one. I'm going to keep all three of these. I like dinosaurs. I think they're cool guys. Oh, it looks like we've got even more of that like what do you call it? Flora and fauna, animals and all that. We got birds. I'm a bird person. We'll get that. We'll keep that. We've got, ooh, another underwater, like, mermaid type. Like I said, that's not my jam, so I'm going to give that away. We have, okay. So now I don't like a lot of, like, the water, like, the mermaid stuff, but I love this pattern. The bubbles, I could, I want to stamp like pastel bubbles. I think that would be cool. And I like this like textured uh, waves and these waves here. So I'm going to keep this one. I love geometric stuff and I like the look of the, these like little accents and stuff. And I did just order a bunch of geometric plates from Maniology. So I'm going to keep this one as well as like an accent to that. I just said I love geometrics. We are definitely keeping this. I feel like this would be fun to do some color blocking type stuff with. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm uh, obsessed with bugs. So that is absolutely staying. We've got another bug plate here again that is staying. And then while we're on the subject, I do have one that's just not in the folder because it's brand new to me. My friend gave me this because she accidentally put two in her cart. This is bees. I just wore this on my nails. You should check out my Instagram. That was a really cool manicure. Keeping that. What is this stuff? Uh, this looks like, this just reminds me of like old wallpaper. <laughs> um, I feel like these could look cool. I'll hang on to this one for a little bit longer. And then same with this. This is like a cool, like weird shapes I could add to stuff. We'll keep that. What have we got here? I'm surprised. I didn't think I'd get rid of any of the Maniology ones, but so far we've gotten rid of three. We're keeping the desserts. Uh, I, If you've seen me, you'll know I love food. Just look at me. So we'll keep that. This one is like tea and coffee. Cute. Love that. This one has kind of like a like fake water marble thing. I don't know quite how to use it. I'm not sure if I should do like a gradient of some sort on my nails and then just stamp black over it. So that one I do want to play with. I shouldn't have taken these out. I should have just left them in. Now I'm going to have to put all these back away. <laughs> Again, this one would be cool to do some like gradient stamping with. So keep that. What is this guy? This is, it looks like Alice in Wonderland, I guess. You know, I think Alice in Wonderland is fine, but I'm not like one of those people who's like obsessed with it. Is it Stranger Things? I can't tell. I'm going to, oh, ew, don't look at my face. Um, Yeah, I'm going to give this one away. Here's another, like, Alice in Wonderland-y type. Yeah, there we go. We got, like, the Mad Hatter's hat. Oh, that's cute, though. There's, like, a D&D &D dice. Um, I think these have to be, like, Stranger Things. I never really watched Stranger Things, but I think that for, like, the little D&D &D dice alone, my friend would really like it. She's, like, running a D&D &D game right now, and I'm playing in it, so I think that that would be cute if she could utilize that somehow, so I'll give that to her. I like this, like, love, hate, Valentine's one with, like, the nose and the hearts. Not gonna be yours. Get over it. I'll keep that. Even though, I, like I said, I'm not a big, like, 
I keep saying I'm not a holiday nail art person, but I think what I mean is I'm not going to stamp Christmas nails. <laughs> I think that's really all I'm saying. Just not a big Christmas person. Um, We've got cats. Now, I like cats. I think they're cute. But my boyfriend is allergic to them, so I just kind of don't really think about them anymore. I don't need that one. Let's see. As far as this one goes. Oh, man. These are cute, but it's just, like, not my kind of cute. Also, I hate when they put buttholes on the cat, so bye. All right. Let's see the last maniology plate. Now, I'm absolutely keeping this. Even though we got another butthole here. Like, we don't need that. We don't need that guy, but... I love bees, so we're keeping it for that. These whales are cute. Um, these cinnamon rolls are adorable. So just for those three, we're going to keep that guy. And then we're on to these white plates. What are these? Okay, so this one is Moyu London. This is actually the first stamping plate I ever bought. I bought a kit that came with like this, a scraper, a stamper, and a black polish, I believe it was. So, I'm just going to keep that because that was my first one. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, can we get this out? This is also Moyu London. I The the rest of these are going to be like mostly just ones that I got from buying that girl's collection. I'm not a masquerade person. I'm not... I don't know. It's just not my jam, so bye to those. Let's see, we've got, this is like a rock and roll type thing. I like the flames. I feel like it would be fun to do some like kind of tattoo looking work with these. And I like that leather jacket, but man, I don't know. It's just like the size of some of these is a little bit off. I'm going to keep this for the flames, but if I find a different like flame one that's better, we will swap is, it has no brand on it. So, I don't know what it is. I like some of this, like, Pac-Man here. And I like the Slinky. Mm. Oh, we got Mario and Luigi, too. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep some of these, like, weird IP ones. This one's called the Princess Collection down here. No, again, no brand. Um... This does not pop out to me at all. It's not really interesting. The only thing that I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool is the zipper. But I already have, I know I have others with zippers on it. And then this like paper airplane with like the dots. But I think that's a really easy nail art to do like freehand. Maybe, well, you know, don't, don't at me on that one. I'm not sure. I've never done it, but I've seen it done a lot of times. It looks cute. So I don't think I need a plate for it. Let's see. We've got some like kind of comic book looking bubbles, some pop art. We got like Andy Warhol. We got Keith Haring. This one's pretty cool. I like these bubbles. I like these like sound effects here. Let's hang on to that one. Um, Actually, I think I got this one off of AliExpress maybe because I like the little like Kokeshi looking dolls. Some of these like Japanese type flowers. We've got another Japanese plate here too. Hmm. Maybe for some of these like traditional looking patterns, I'll keep these. I don't, I'm still not sure if I'll wear those. I don't know if I have any business wearing Japanese on my nails. <laughs> um, robots. These guys are kind of cute with the gears. I could do something fun with that. This is a fake water marble plate. I already saved like one kind of like this earlier, I think. So I'll give that one away. Here's some more of that like lacy type stuff. I already have like that first plate that I ever got had right here, this one. I feel like this one has its kind of like lacy feel. So I don't need a second one. More lace. We'll say no. This one looks like Christmas lace. Lace. So, three no's. We've got some flannel type patterns. I think this one could be cool. 
um, maybe for some like fall nail art, like maybe I'll keep that guy. I know I just said I have no business wearing Japanese on my nails, but I do like this hiragana plate. I bought this one specifically just because I wanted it, so we're not getting rid of that. Alright, we got kind of a Halloween or zombie plate. I love this. I did a manicure with this brain. I want to keep that specifically for that piece, so... You know, I think it's going to be rare that I keep them for just a singular stamp, but we'll see. All right, we got some more cats and dogs. I think these are cute little paws. Hmm. I could do a five-finger manicure with that. All right, I know I said I don't want to keep cat ones, but I'm keeping that one. Keeping that cat. And then we've got some floral stuff. These are pretty... But I bet you I'm going to keep like 10,000 other floral things, so we'll get rid of that one. Um, no, that's just not my jam. Try not to be like, oh, that's ugly, because I know like some people are going to like them, and I don't want to be mean. So let's see, we got some book type ones. What have we got here? Um, this is not for me. It's got some... Harry Potter and then what's that? Hunger Games and Game of Thrones. My friend might like that. So there's two more no's. What is this one? Uh, not for me. These are just not interesting enough designs that I'd be into. Oh, this one though. My friend is big on Disney. She and her husband, who is also my friend, um, they go to Disney pretty frequently. And I think they're going in a month or two. So actually this would be a good plate for her. So that's a no for me. But a yes for her. Because I'm going to force it on her. I hate owls. Um, so this is a no. And this is, a, this is a weird plate. Like what are these people for? Like I get all of this. But like the people I'm not. I'm not a big like underwater like marine life person. I think fish are cute. But like. I don't need that. I like these puzzle pieces and I like this abstract work, but I feel like I could get that elsewhere in a more cohesive design. Just a lot of like icon stuff. I'm not big on like individual icons unless there's like a bunch that are like cohesive together. So that's a no. Okay, so, wow, this is a, you can see this is a pretty heavy stack here. We've got just a lot of more abstract designs. Not very interesting. We got some logos down here for like Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. Like who's going to stamp their nails with Pinterest? I don't know, but that's not for me. This is a no. Nothing's really interesting. Some of these older plates too, the, the designs just look either like really squished or stretched. So not super into that. This one... I don't know if you can see, we've got some more like Mario, Princess Peach. There's a dog. I don't know, man. There's a TARDIS on here. Like, <laughs> no thanks. This is automatically a no because it's just a bunch of icons that I'm just not super interested in. This one, the only ones that I'm like super interested in are these like Mr. Men and Little Miss guys at the top, but there's only two. So I just don't think it's worth it to keep for that. There is a Batman one on here, so that's kind of interesting for somebody, but that's a no. Let's see. This one has, like, chess pieces right here. But, oh, there's, like, a Jim Beam logo, which I'm sure, just like everybody else, I used to think was Jim Bean. Uh, but that's a no. This one has a ton of, like, people on it. We've got, is that Steve Jobs? Um, Che Guevara, maybe. <laughs> I don't need that. Then we got the Beatles. Just not, not great for me. This one has a ton of sports logos on it. I don't know anything about sports, so that's a no. Another one. This one, actually, this one cracks me up because it's like... Who is this by? I doubt that whoever this is got the license 
for, you know, Monsters University and all that. And then The Walking Dead and stuff like that. But then we've got Stealing is a Crime. I don't know. Uh, the irony of that one was kind of funny to me. But still, no. Uh, I used to like Hello Kitty a lot, but I don't care too much about Hello Kitty anymore. I prefer actually other characters like Gudetama, so no. This one I think my friend will like if it'll focus. We've got a bunch of like Disney characters up here and there's a Pikachu and I know that they're really into Pokemon and um, Disney like I said before. And then there's Barney. I mean... That's interesting, but yeah, I'll have her take a look at that. This one also has a Pokemon on it. It's Bellsprout. Uh, but yeah, this is a no. I'm just not into some of these older plates. So we've got... This one has... Oh, this one has Rilakkuma on it. Pum Pum Pudding. Kuropi. Okay. I will keep this literally for the Kuropi and like the Rila Kuma because my boyfriend really likes those characters and I think it'd be cute to do some nails with those at least once right oh man this one has a Star Trek one Ugh, I have to keep that one don't I oh we got some Sesame Street too and Domokun okay all right I can justify this one I can justify this one oh it's got Perry the Platypus and Patrick Star can you tell I'm too old to be watching cartoons but I still do We've got a ton of Hello Kitty. We don't need that. Just some big designs, but nothing too interesting, like, for me. This one. I don't know about this one. So, this. Th wait a minute. This one feels too smooth to stamp off of. But I'm loving this bear. Hang on a second. So I figured out why this one feels like you can't stamp it. The... Okay, my memory card filled up for a second, so I had to, like, deal with that. So sorry if the centering is a little bit different. But yeah, the plastic sheet was still on this. It had never been used. I'm used to them being, like, blue, so you know it's on there. But yeah, um, maybe I should keep at least one... Christmas plate and I know I'm literally saying that so I can justify these cute little bears but I'm doing it anyways because it's my life um and now we're back to hating Christmas plates so we don't need that oh but I like those lights but I can just hand paint the lights so I don't need it come on Hillary get your life together um this one is more Christmas and New Year's don't need it this one's kind of funny because it's just like, yeah, I want to stamp my nails with nail polish <laughs> logos. Like, what the heck? Um, it even has Julep on there, Color Club. That's so funny. Uh, we're gonna... I almost said we're gonna get rid of it, but then I saw the Gucci logo. And instantly I changed my mind. So we're gonna keep that one for just, you know, just because... We've got the St. Patrick's Day plate. I don't need it. Um, we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day that way. We've got... This one's funny because it's got M&Ms on it. But I don't really like this one. There's a, Oh, there's a little individual M&M right there. But Oh, it's got some Mickey Mouse on there. So my friend might like that. This one, just half... Designs I don't care about. Oh, that one's kind of cute though, but I don't want that. I've got enough um, I've got enough Mario ones that I kept that I don't need this one. So we'll get that one aside. Get rid of that. This one has... <laughs> See, I want to keep this literally for this Naruto one, but I don't need it. It has uh, a menorah on there. Oh, wow. It's got the Orthodox cross. <laughs> That's wild that you'd put the Orthodox cross, like Harry Potter and Naruto, all on the same <laughs> stamping plate. What the heck? I almost want to keep this just because that's so funny. You know, I'm not going to keep it, but I do want to show my boyfriend that. So try to remember. Remind me. Um, This is Easter. I just 
don't care. Uh, more boring kind of, they're not boring, I'm sorry if you like these. Um, just designs that I'm not interested in. I already have one with like cute little faces, so we don't need that. We've got more random designs and more random little guys. I do like this little Kirby, but I feel like I could draw a Kirby pretty well. More random designs. Dance time. Hello, my dear. Uh, I have better looking aliens than this. The Facebook thumbs up. Okay, we don't need that. And then what do we have? More random designs. All these guns, I guess. And the Punisher skull, which I hate. And... Yeah, this, we got the prince symbol. That one's kind of fun. But, yeah, don't need this one either. So, there we go. Out of all that, we kept, like, four. And we're going to give away this many. Okay, so now we can do some actual circle ones here. We've got a lot of circle ones. So, this part is going to take a while. Strap in. So, the thing I don't like about, like, a lot of these circle plates is just so... Like, none of the designs seem cohesive. This is an old bundle monster plate. I don't need that. That's a no. Okay, so we're going to just go through these, like, rapid fire. I think that if, if any of these have, because I feel like I'm holding a stack of pogs right now. <laughs> Look at this. This is one book's worth. So I feel like if any of these have even like one design that I like, I will keep it just because these are a lot smaller and like less cohesive. So this is really nothing interesting. So no, 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 there's going to be a lot of no's for these because I just don't find a lot of these designs either interesting or they're too small for my nails. Um, this could be cool to do something with. I like these lines, so we'll keep that. That'd be cool, weird, like, French Manny. What is this dolphin leaping in the stars? I, no, I can't. I, I just don't need that. Uh, I changed my mind about the dolphin. I want it. Okay, this one is a no, though. Um, no, I've got, like, houndstooth everywhere. Uh, no, I'm not edgy enough for barbed wire. I don't like these weird special French tip designs, so both of these are a no. This is the most disjointed plate I've ever seen. Um, no. Maybe if it was, like, 2008, but no. I don't know what any of these are. No. This one I actually am going to keep because I like the weird drops. And I like this specific paper crane. I've used it in a manicure before, so I know I'll use it again. I think it's fun to make little decals with. Um, no. No. No, what the heck? This looks like bad glitter. Uh, DNA? <laughs> no. 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 Okay, this one though. Actually, I use this one because I like to do like, I like to use this for like to make like a bloody fingerprint for like Halloween. And I use this one for when I go to like baseball games with my dad. Um, I have, I have a bigger plate. I saw like, I had a bundle monster plate that had, or a maniology plate that had that on there. Uh, I like this abstract and I like this cute penguin, so yes. 
this is not for me. Mm, no. I'm not like obsessed with France, so no. This one I want for literally just the zipper. I want to do like zipper nails. Um, no. Uh, no. Jeez, some of these are just so old. Like, I don't know, like, did people... I would like to see, like, what some people do with some of these, like, older plates. Because to me, I just can't... I look at them and I can't, like, think about anything. Oh, I like this, like, old tattoo vibe. Like, I'm gonna keep that. I have a tattoo with lettering like that. This is, like, under the sea stuff, so I'm not really into it. Under the sea stuff. Under the sea. Again. And again, and again. This one has bubbles like that other one that I kept, but I think that the bubbles on that one look better than this one, so I'm not going to keep this one. Um, I'm not like one of those lighthouse people. There's a lot of people in Michigan who are like obsessed with lighthouses and they go and they like stand next to the lighthouse. I don't know. Maybe they look at it. I don't, I don't know, but that's not me. I'm not a big fan of the idea of like, putting alcohol on my nails. I don't know. I'm not like conservative or anything. I just, why? Pirates. My friend might like that. We've got some, oh, that's like a cool water texture, but like it's hard to, yeah, my nail is way too long for that. Okay. Well, I can't get this to focus. So, oh, it focused as soon as I said that. So this is more mermaid stuff. This one has like a Game Boy, so we are keeping that. This one has dinosaurs on it. I am going to keep this one and see if I can pair it with like some of those other dinosaur plates I had. This one, I like these like birds on the wire. I think I could do something really cool and like simple with that. I'm not just, I just don't like the words. Not a big like live, laugh, love gal. We've got a bunch of like abstract stuff. I like these keys, so I'm going to keep the keys. This one is just kind of like nature-y stuff, so no. I like this one specifically for this like star pattern. This one's like cute to look at, but I don't know how I would translate that on my nails. I like this one for like specifically the shooting stars and I like these like etchings so we'll keep that. Again just this is a lot of words so no. No. I like that peacock it looks really pretty but like no thanks. Garden type stuff I'm not even in the middle am I here. Wow. Gardens are no. Spring, no thank you, it's like a tiki guy, I don't really know, oh it's like a woman I think, no thanks, I think this is supposed to be like more like Hawaii, but no thank you, this one says bloom in the middle, it's got like flowers but I'm good. This one seems like, is that a hedgehog? I think, I think it's supposed to be a hedgehog, but it does not look like a hedgehog. Florals. This one is interesting. I think this in the center here is supposed to be like a face. It looks a little bit distorted and scary. Butterflies. I'm not, as much as I love bugs, I just don't care about butterflies. I like the creepy looking bugs. There's a guitar. I am musically challenged. We've got birds, well, one bird and some plants. I just don't need a lot of this abstract, like, vinery type stuff. I like geometric abstract more than anything. Flowers. Flowers. Sea life. Like, they're, like, looks like they're koi fish. Um, here we've got some more masquerade stuff, which I'm not into. These are just some cute little animals, but I don't need that. I already saved one with a zipper. 
so I don't need that. And then this one actually, <laughs> I am going to keep because this one's got like such a vaporwave vibe with some of this stuff and I'm gonna keep that. And then, oh, there was one more in that book but it was a square and it's just some like animal profiles and I don't want that. All right, so now we've got these. These are like octagon plates. They're kind of like sharp and scary. Let's go through these really quick. There's not many of these I want to keep either, but we'll just do a quick one. This cute Pooh Bear one, I think my friend would like it more, so I'm going to give it to her. Pirates and bows. I, I just don't see the relation, so no. We've got transformers, I guess. Um, no. These are just too small for my nail. Um... I actually am going to keep it for literally this. This is just a like logo that I like. Hello Kitty. I've got some. I don't need that one. Not a big peace sign person. This is like the speed round. Um, Not into these designs. The hearts are cute, but I just don't think it's like big enough for my nail. Don't want to do Christmas nails. What do we got here? Um, Just a lot of like kanji and stuff like that. I don't need that. Uh, I don't like lace. I'm gonna keep this one because we got like two or three, four Karopi designs on there. This one uh, is good for like if you're into gambling I guess but I love my money too much. Um, I have better spider webs so Ooh, but I like that pumpkin so we're gonna keep that. Uh, mustaches and lips. No thank you. I uh, are these like road signs? No. Cats I don't need. Just a bunch of like bow designs. I don't no offense, I don't like Snoopy. I think he's weird. I just was not a peanuts kid. I think this is like a panda, but no. I like these keys. I think I could use these as accents for something else. And I like these little, like, star designs. These would be cool for, like, a galaxy. Just I'm not a big, like, kissy lips person. These designs are too small. Just some animal print. I'm not animal print yet. Not not at that age yet. Um, Just a bunch of stuff. And then Audrey Hepburn, I guess. I don't want that one. Uh, food, but I have way more cute foods. I don't know what this is. Cats. I don't need that. I don't need the Hello Kitty. Man, there's a lot of Hello Kitty. A lot of unlicensed Hello Kitty. Just some hearts I don't need. I've got plenty of hearts. Again, more Hello Kitty. We don't need it. Um, This one has the Gucci logo, the Louis Vuitton logo, and the Chanel logo. So I'm going to compare this to the other one. In the meantime, keep that. Um, More Hello Kitty. Don't need it. I like this spider web, and I like the zombie hands and everything, so I'm going to keep that one. I think this one is cute, but I think that the shape or the size of them is odd for the nail, so I'm gonna say no. Um, I'm gonna keep this one literally because of the the Korean flag. I think it's a yeah. I'll keep it for the Korean flag. My boyfriend's Korean, so I'll keep it for that. Just show it to him. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm not into that. These are really itty bitty, so no. Too small Easter stuff. St. Patrick's Day, too small. These are like minuscule. Like, I don't know what I would do with those. Um, so no. No, too small. This is another like casino theme. But no, I'm not a casino person. Snowflakes. Um, I'm going to keep one. 
I'm going to keep this one specifically just because I like the, the variety of the snowflakes. And I think that would be a good one for like just some simple winter nails just to have. Um, these are a lot of towers. I don't need that. A lot of like random designs. No. Here's another one that I think is really cute for these like ghosts specifically. And the skull and crossbones. You know what? I'll keep that and see how it fits on my nails and go from there. And this one as well, I do like the, the pumpkins. Those are cute. Ooh, and this, oh, that guy's cute. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it. I twisted my own arm. These are too small to be trees. I don't know what business they have. Um. Okay, please don't be mad at me, but I'm keeping it because I love this soft pretzel. These are just really tiny. Again, these paw prints, I think these would be fun for something, but I'm not. I just not like a huge like paw print person. So we're going to say no to those. We're just going to rapid fire circle plates at this point. Um, right is no, left is yes. If I have something to say, I'll say it. Okay. So no. No, no, no owls. A lot of citrus here. Ooh, I like that donut, but no. No, I. you can tell I just don't love circle plates. No, I'm not a big smileys person. This isn't the 90s anymore. No, no, no lips. Yes for this. No. 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 I don't like the French tips. No French tips. Oh my gosh, there's so many French tip ones. Uh, I don't even know what half of these designs are. If I didn't explain this properly earlier, the reason I have so many of these, as I've mentioned many times in my videos, is I bought somebody's collection, so I mean like every single stamping plate, all their nail polishes, all their nail art and accessories and stuff, and it was like a blind buy. I spent, you know, mm, a few hundred bucks. And I got just, I got over 300 polishes. I got most of the stamping plates you see here, save for like a few, which I had previously purchased myself. So I would say I kind of came out pretty good winner initially, but man, there's a lot of stuff in here that I just don't know. I know I said I hate uh, French tips, but that flame one is kind of funny. These are like for children's nails, I swear. Like who, who has nails this small? And no. Let's see. These are all no's. No. 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 You see it's starting to just fall over. I've kept one so far. Yeah, it's just like a lot of this stuff is either too small or like stuff I just am not interested in. Oh, you know what? I like that star. No. No, and in case you're skipping around, like I said earlier, um, I if I even like one design on a circle plate, I will keep it just because um, circle plates are not really cohesive, so I don't mind having something with just like the one. No. Graduation nails? No thanks. Baby nails? No thanks. <laughs> not anytime soon. Hearts? This is Chinese New Year. I should probably keep that. We celebrate Chinese New Year. Um, or I should say Lunar New Year. Um, birthday. Yeah, I guess I could keep a birthday plate. This is also birthday. Pies. Oh, is that Thanksgiving? No. Um, I like these like ribbons and stuff. Uh, I like the bats, but they're kind of rough looking. So no. 
more Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll make like little holiday plate grab bags or something for somebody. Um, I like these two. No. Mm, my friend's kind of Jewish, so I'll give him that. I don't think he like celebrates a ton, but like maybe his uh, wife will like it. Uh, no. And I like these pumpkin guys, so yeah, we'll keep those. Snow. No. These look like tramp stamps. No. Oh, I like these little, like, zodiacs. Those are cute. No. More like Tramp Stamp. Is that supposed to be Dora the Explorer? Like, what is that? Um, this is Gals Cosmetics plates. I've never heard of them. Oh, I like these numbers. They're chubby and cute. Mm, no. It's just a lot that is. Oh, I like that specific design. A lot of these are just so small. It's too small. I will clean any of these that have paint on them if I choose to sell them. Don't worry. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Just a misshapen Hello Kitty. Plants. Weird smileys. No, no. Too small, too small. Too small, too small. It's all just too small. Do I have wide nail beds or are these just tiny? I think these are just tiny. Like, no, no. I think I'm just getting overwhelmed by how, like, abstract some of these are. And it's just, like, not interesting me anymore. Then again, I suppose, like, you only need so much abstract, right? I know I kept some of these earlier, but let's keep these two. Oh, these are fun numbers. I don't think I have really much for numbers. Not that I can think of a time when I'm ever going to want numbers. Maybe when I turn 30. <laughs> I'll do 30s themed nails. Okay. These are by a brand called, like, Pooin. Pooin. No, no. No. And we've got MASH in here as well. I have a polish from MASH, but I've never actually heard of them. Ew, carnivals. Too spooky. These are all also, like, these MASH ones are, like, sticky. Like the, almost like the cardboard backing that they're maybe glued on. The glue is just kind of, like, degenerating. Um, we've got some more, like, horoscope. I'm going to compare all, like, the star sign stuff and pick, like, maybe my favorite. Disco. Not a disco person. I like how it's like we can't really embody Earth Day in anything but the words Earth Day. <laughs> Winstonia plates. I have heard of Winstonia, but I don't know anything about them. Fourth of July, I guess. That's a boring holiday for me. Man, there's just so much that I just... I mean, like, I can't go... I can't feasibly use all of these anyways. I guess I just put this task off for like a year. I like that worm. He's kind of funny. Mm, I think I have stuff that looks like that. 
and some of these designs are just so simple in a way that like they just don't look that great like this is just I don't feel like that swimsuit looks very good whereas like stuff that's coming out today you know it's very detailed it looks really good I don't know I guess it was just harder to do this stuff back then Oh, I like this one. I like these, um, like, comic sound effects, and I like this, like, fingerprint. We'll keep that. Mm. Nothing very exciting, huh? No and no. Oh, I think we're going to finish at a reasonable pace. These are cheeky. Never heard of cheeky. Okay, we're starting to overflow. No, 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 no. They're just too small, you guys. Maybe I should keep my nails shorter, but that hurt just to say out loud, so definitely not. Okay. No, 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 nothing particularly piquing my interest here. Oh, that one's kind of interesting, but like, it's a weird shape. No, no, what is that? Oh, those are eyes. Okay. Let me move these out of the way and then we've got one last stack. Okay, I lied. There's two stacks, but it should go relatively quickly because it's just a lot more circle plates. I That one says Coraline on it. Coraline. I'm sure somebody would like all these Coraline. Wow. Coraline. Coraline. I didn't care for the movie. I mean, it was fine, but... Mm. No. No. No, no, too small, too tippy, small. These are Conad ones, which I have um, a bunch of Conad stamping polishes, and they work pretty well. I like them. I just think the bottles are ugly. I think this is a Korean brand, actually. Mm, no, well... No, 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 no sports, not here at least. I am happy. Just animals. Floral, letters. I hope this isn't as boring for you guys as it is for me at this point. I just feel like it's the same themes over and over. This is why I like, uh, I feel like Maniology just does a really good job with their themes and their collabs. And I just, I don't know. I like the rectangle plates. I think it's like the perfect size for this sort of a thing. And they keep on theme. I don't like these like crazy multi-themes. Didn't we see this one earlier? Hang on, set that down. So no, 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 no. Okay, I swear we just had that plate. Let me, oh no, you guys, I mixed my yeses in. No, give me one second. Never mind, you guys, I didn't mix them in. I found them. Um, so yeah, I do have... This is interesting. One of these I kept and one of them I uh, just came across. They are the exact same plate. I'm gonna keep both of them, see which one picks up better, and then we'll go from there to this stack and then one more like container worth. No, no, no. I'm just not into that. Aesthetic. When I was a kid, I thought casino stuff was like really cool. 
But I don't know, my boyfriend's parents live in Vegas and we go out there quite a bit. So now I'm just kind of like, okay, I got my fill of casinos. <laughs> they have a casino, it's like the Detroit casino. And I was like, oh, that should be cool to go see because, you know, I live in the Detroit area. Well, what's the casino look like? It barely, like, the only thing that I feel like is really themed is the gift shop. And, oh, I like these guys. I'm going to keep those. Um, but they charge, like, $8 or something for a Fago, which, if you're from Michigan, you know Fago is, like, 89 cents. So, I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> I will wait till I go home. Mm, no. 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 Um, I like that particular spider web. These are cool designs, actually. I like these. I'm going to keep those. No. 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 Fiesta. No. Fruit. No. 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 So many no's. I just feel like if I don't do this, like, rapid fire, then it won't get done at all. Okay, so there's that. Alright, I got ten minutes before I gotta run an errand, so let's get through this last one as quickly as humanly possible. No. These are a weird sized circle plate. Oh, wow, what in the world is this? These look old, old. No. It's just like, oh wow, this one's never been used. No. 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 It's like, no, no. Well, more that have never been used. No, never been used. Now we're on the squares. Oh, I like this uh, blood drip one. Cute little sea creatures, but I'm good. No, no. Mm. I want that snail, to be quite honest. Uh, I want the snail. I want these dandelions. Mm. Oh, those are cute little Harry Potter ones and Angry Birds. This one is shaped like a cat. That's kind of funny. Keep calm and paint your nails. No. Eh. I like the spiders. We'll keep the spiders. No. No. It's just a lot of America stuff. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. This one looks like corn, so I need that. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I just need it. Oh, that's like a cool full fingerprint. Okay, we'll keep that. Even though I've kept like three fingerprint ones. And I could literally just use my own fingerprint. You know, whatever. Cats. Masks. The entire periodic table. Hmm. Pirate stuff, no. And then, last... Oh, sorry. Sorry! Last but not least, is this weird, like, little, like, box of circular stamping plates. And I have a feeling these are probably all gonna be no. This one says, God is a DJ. No. These monsters are cute. No, no, no. Wow. Hmm. No, no. Pizza, no. It's just like... I want to know what people were thinking when they used to make these plates. 
No, no. Well, this has been very anticlimactic, but it looks like that is a final no. All right, so now I'm going to just show you up on the screen that I went from this to this. And um, I have been keeping a running total as I, or hopefully I kept the running total uh, in post. And you can see at the top how many I kept and how many I'm giving away and selling. So I hope this wasn't like insanely boring for you guys. I will keep you posted if I choose to create a little like D stash Instagram. And I will let you know in upcoming videos after my friend has gone through everything what I'm going to sell and for how much and the details of that. But anyways, thank you for sticking through this incredibly long video with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.